Hello, I'm Charlie, the editor of the Eco Experts. And I'm Josh, a lead writer here. Previously on the site, we used to talk about how there were just two or three types of solar panel. Yes. Things have changed. There have been a lot of scientific advances. We now reckon there are about nine different types of solar panel. In this video, we're going to take you through the nine different types of solar panels, what makes each one unique, and at the very end, we're going to tell you which one we reckon is the best. Absolutely. Let's get started. So we're going to start with monocrystalline and polycrystalline because they are the most common types of solar panel in the UK. Monocrystalline is a single block of silicon. They're black, so they look great on your roof. Mm -hmm. They'll save about 64% on your energy bills, which is the highest energy bill saving. And they are the most efficient between 18 and 24% efficiency now, which is brilliant. In contrast, polycrystalline is loads of different blocks of silicon mixed together. They look blue instead of black. Older solar panels are all polycrystalline and that's why loads of people think solar panels are blue. They look a bit less good on your roof. They do. They're slightly less efficient, so maybe 10 to 20% rather than 15 to 25. Mm -hmm. As a result, polycrystalline panels are cheaper than monocrystalline, but you're going to save a bit less money with them on your roof. Next, we're going to talk about solar tiles. This is where you replace your entire roof with solar tiles. That does mean that they blend in. It also means they're incredibly expensive and their efficiency is a bit lower than monocrystalline or typically polycrystalline, it's about 10 to 20% efficiency. Solar tiles are really good if you live in a conservation area or a listed building. That's true. Because uh, sometimes you're not allowed to put normal panels on the roof because people think it makes your old property look like a bit of an eyesore. Solar tiles are way more subtle. Like Josh said, they replace every tile on your roof. You just have to pay a fortune to get there. The next solar panel type is thin film. As you can probably guess, uh, these panels are a lot thinner than standard monocrystalline or polycrystalline panels. Obviously, thin panels means more likely to bend, which is ideal if uh, you have wall space or roof space where a, a big rigid panel won't fit. If you have thin film panels, you can bend them around corners, you can get them into gaps, and suddenly you can still benefit from solar panels on your roof. The downside is they're less efficient, so the savings won't be as good, but they're still gonna be better than nothing. And if you have a boat or a caravan, they're really good for those kind of mobile homes. The next type we're going to talk about is solar thermal. Instead of turning sunlight into electricity, this technology turns sunlight into hot water. It will cut your heating bill by about 50%, but it doesn't look all sleek and black like monocrystalline panels. Instead, it looks like a bunch of tubes on your roof. However, I think they still look pretty good. They look pretty futuristic, yeah. The next type of solar panel is the transparent solar panel, also known as the solar window. You can guess what this is. Obviously, the dream in the lab is to have a perfectly transparent window that can generate electricity. They haven't quite managed that yet. The most transparent you get is about 30 or 40% transparent. Efficiency-wise, they've managed something like 1% to 10%. So a long way to go, but they look very nice. And one day, I guess the dream is that office buildings will have windows that can generate electricity. And that you can have a solar window on your phone. Imagine that. That would be fantastic. The next type of solar panel we're going to talk about is perovskite. So this is a combination of silicon, uh, which absorbs red light from the sun mm -hmm. uh, on the solar spectrum, and perovskite, a synthetic material that goes on top of the silicon and absorbs blue light from the other end of the spectrum. So you're absorbing more sunlight, you're generating more electricity, they're about 28.6% efficient in lab experiments, which is fantastic, it's miles better the monocrystalline or polycrystalline, and they should be coming on the market in the next few months. So once perovskite solar panels are ready, it's gonna completely change the residential solar market. 28% efficiency compared to 22 or 23% is a massive difference, and it could be a case of waiting, like you said, a few more months and people will be able to start buying them. The next type of solar panel is called PERC, or P-E-R-C, which stands for Passivated Emitter Rear Cell. It sounds complicated, it's quite simple. If you put a solar panel in front of sunlight, some of it will get converted into electricity, some of it gets missed and goes through the panel. If you make the back of the panel reflective, it's gonna send sunlight back through, and it gives it an opportunity to be collected by the panel. So if you've got a solar panel with this technology at the back of it, it will probably make it between six and 12% more effective. And the last type of solar panel we're going to talk about is Concentrator Photovoltaics, or CPV, as it's known. You can't use this on your house, but it is an incredible piece of technology. Basically, it uses curved mirrors to focus incredibly strong amounts of sunlight onto small, specially made solar cells. It's so strong that it's about a thousand times more powerful than a regular solar panel, but they're only used in incredibly hot regions of countries like Spain, South Africa, and the US by solar farms or big energy companies. So why can't people living at home use 
CPV? Uh, it's huge. Firstly, it requires a massive cooling system because it gets so hot from the power of a thousand suns. Mm -hmm. And it's incredibly expensive, which is the main reason. So Josh, for all the homeowners watching, what would you recommend as the best overall type of solar panel? Monocrystalline, 100%. It's the most efficient one on the market at the moment. It can save you the most money on your energy bills. We would say it doesn't look as good as solar tiles, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah. It's fantastic. Brilliant. Well, I've been Charlie. I've been Josh. And if you want to find out more about solar panels, how much they cost, how many you need, head to our website, theecoexpert.co.uk.